folks. Well, it's, it probably isn't morning if you're watching this, but this was early Sunday morning, and I was getting prepared for today's adventure, which was going to be a, another bike and hike on the, the stunning mountain Gilvain. Uh, I stayed in the, the small lay-by just at the, the junction uh, on the road to the Isles. And I had driven up on the Saturday night, getting there about 10 past 10, 20 past 10, so it was pretty much getting to bed and trying to get some rest for the, the early rise for another great day on the Monroe Trail. From the, the van I got on the bike and basically crossed the road over uh, into the, it's just basically like the single track road which then took you up into the glen towards Govain and this is it's actually a cracking, cracking road to, to even walk up, most people probably do it in the walk but I've been giving quite a lot of pain in my back at the moment so I decided to take the bike again which is helping quite a bit so it was quite good to, to cycle up the glen and the views are absolutely stunning and as I say it was maybe about 40 minutes on the bike up the glen but it is a, an absolutely good good bike ride uh, even if it's something that you're, you're not doing the Monroe it's, it's still a good, a good uh, track to go I'd highly recommend it but as you can see the views and the, the sun rising in the morning was great so I'm going to leave it there and hopefully you'll enjoy and keep tuned in folks. As I say, this was a, another great adventure. Well, folks, that's me. I'm just at the, the bike drop-off, which is basically just here. It's, it's a wee sort of ruin. Uh, I've just parked the bike up here, so we've just come here, up this wee bridge here, up the wee road, here the wee bridge, and I've just pulled in here. The road continues up an hour wee bit uh, towards Gilvain, but uh, even that wee bit, the, the road coming in there, the last bit was quite rocky and wee rivers coming through and that, so we could have probably dropped the bike further back, but I just kept going. So I'll just drop it here and continue on up, and this will be the route we'll be taking up. We say up the first bit of Gilvain, there's two bits there. Uh, it's the far away peak at the end of the ridge. It's the, the main peak, so, so there's a wee bit of a ridge walkout. So I'm looking, looking forward to that. And if this sun stays out, hopefully get really good views. So, aye, it's looking good to know. As I say, the weather's a bit, I don't know how to go with different weather. Forecasters were saying different things, so just taking as it goes. But I'm not going to stand about too much because it's midgy season already and they're out in force. So I'm going to carry on up and I'll catch in a wee bit further up. Hopefully the midges will be, will be away if we get a wee bit of breeze. So I'll take it for there. Okay. Right folks, an RV check in. Oh, excuse the breathing. I'm absolutely blown today. Uh, that's back down here. You can see on the wee corner bit of the trees are. That's sort of where the wee ruin is. That's where we left the bike. Probably just about 20 minutes ago, just under it. So, came up with this bit already. It's quite steep gone. And basically now we're just going to hit the slope and straight up here as well. So that's pretty relentless. As soon as you leave your bike down there, it's going straight up. Which, and a good thing. Gaining height quick, which I do like, because I like to get up as high as I can pretty quick. And if you can see here, the sun is trying to make its way around this corner, so I'm I'm in a race against the sun now. I'm trying to get up as far up as I can before the sun's beating down on me, because it is, I can feel it down there, it's quite hot. Uh, and it's still, it's not even 7 o'clock in the morning yet, so... Uh, I'm going to need to start delaying as well. But aye, it's going to be a hot one, I think, again. So that's why I set off early, try and date in a bit of, bit of the sort of cooler temperature in the morning. It means if you're up there and it is baking hot, at least you're up there, you can get a suntan lotion on. 
uh, try to climb up the hills, sides it, and that's that is a nightmare when it's baking down and you just saps the energy at you. So, so I'm going to carry on and I'll catch in a wee bit further up. Hopefully, once we get here, this will be the next bit. We might start to get towards the first peak. As I say, there's two in this. As one we know, but there's sort of two peaks and there's a ridge between them. So I'll catch in further up. Warm folks, <laughs> deal iron, it's getting warm. Oh. What a view back down the glen. I don't know if you can see it. That's us looking back down there, the way we came in. Right up through this glen. Oh. Good bike ride then, a bit rocky, but aye. Oh. Right, continue on up. Catch you in Folks, just a check in. That's me at the, the, the basically the first top, which is the, the cairn here at Gilvane. But Gilvane's actually, we've got to go along the ridge to the, the other top, and that's the actual top. So, for all you get here and you see the cairn, this isn't the actual top, the top's at the other side. It is meant to be quite a good wee ridge walk, but I'm sort of a, say I've clagged in, but it's mere, it's mere the, the temperature. The clouds and it's just the sun's not burning it off yet, so I'm hoping maybe if I go along, maybe wait along here a wee bit, hopefully it might clear and maybe get a, a glimpse of the ridge. I was hoping for a clear day for the ridge, but just can't seem to time it right. But keep my fingers crossed, I say I've still got to go right across the ridge to the other end, and we need to come back it anyway, so so it might open up. But go had to get my, my fleece back on there, just to stop there. Just with the wind coming in a wee bit, chills, with the, the sun hitting off you and then you stop, it just, you go f instantly sort of go cold, so I get the fleece back on, uh, a wee drink of water, and I picked up these Iron Brew Jelly Babies, out of Aldi's yesterday, seen them, I don't know if it's a while, I've seen a few people with them, uh, I think it was Maureen that, using them in their videos as well. Uh, I think they were actually looking for them, but I don't know if it's the same ones, so if you're looking for them, the Aldi's will get plenty of them. Uh, oh, just get a wee sugar rush to keep me going. But aye, I'm going to head on to the next the next point, which is the top, so I'll need to drop back down along the ridge and back out to the other top. And I'll say fingers crossed when we get some views. So I'll catch you in a wee bit further across. Okay. Folks, this is the, the top of Gulvain, which is the, it's the second peak as you can wear the first one. The first one's actually marked with a trig point, so I don't know if that's maybe in the past 
been the main point they've remeasured it and this side's um, the new the new peak I'm not too sure I've not really looked into it but this as far as I know this is uh, the peak this is at the far end of the ridge so we need to get back across here but I'm just waiting out the now to see if the, the cloud lifts or if it burns off but I don't know how long I'm going to wait it might know because I know there was some cloud uh, blowing in for the west today uh, it was hit and miss with the mountains I say it's been the best weekend of the year as well but yesterday was absolute scorching would have been a good day to go, but I, I've I struggled. The other years I've been struggling with the, the really hot heat. Um, it's hard to walk in. So I'm just going to sit. I've got the coffee out and that anyway. It's actually quite peaceful just sitting here in the. I say it's not a. You'd say it's a clag, but it's more the, it's the temperature. I think it's just needing to burn off with the sun. Uh, probably later on it might burn off when I'm back done, but I'm going to wait a wee while, have a coffee, and we'll sit and wait. Uh, and see if see if anything happens. If no, well, it's still been a peaceful, peaceful walk. It's actually when when I stop speaking, it's just absolutely total silence. It's actually quite good just sitting here in the silence. Aye, so it's been a it's, it's been a good walk. Yeah, the bike ride in was, it was quite a good bike ride in. The path towards the end started getting a bit rocky and wee streams and all that, so oh, it was a wee bit harder there. It'll be the same going back out, but I've left the bike at the wee ruins, so at least I've got the bike to go the way back out. And as I say, having the electric bike's been a, an absolute dream. Uh, try to think back now when I was just staying at the normal mount bike, I'd have been absolutely knackered the time I got to that ruins. So uh, it's been it's been quite good. So I'm just I'll leave it there and I'm gonna have my coffee and that's something to eat and we'll see if anything happens but I'm no I'm not holding it for much if it, it clears. I say we'll still go to go along the ridge again back to the other top so it could even clear maybe the time we get back here. So so we'll wait and see. Hi folks, right, that's us back at the, the first cairn at the, the first top, so I've been along Eagle Vane, back along, so next after this we'll be dropping back down, and basically sat about, still no views, as a Spongebob would say, one hour later, still nothing, uh, aye, I do feel it's got a bit warmer on this top right enough, because in the way earlier it was getting a bit... So it's smelling the rain, I think it was just uh, the moisture off the cloud right enough. So still still nothing to know. But I'm gonna I'm gonna take you back to last night. Um on the drive up, it was about half seven. I must have got to about it was a viewpoint in about Loch Chula. Uh, and I can see why they built the lo the viewpoint there, uh, looking at Loch Chula, looking back towards like Benderain, Bridge Orkey way. Um absolute stunning views up there last night. Just looking across, you get it most days if it's, it's a good day. Uh, and then I continued on up through Rannoch Moor, um, up to around about the, the corner you turn, and you just just get that view of the buckle, uh, the big buckle just sitting there. That was great, and I was just driving down towards that. It was quite hazy, so it was quite hard to make out, you just seen the shape of it, but it's always that quite prominent shape. And driving down there, I stopped off, I got a couple of photos. Um, a couple of photos of the, the camper van in front of it. Uh, continued on for there around the corner. It, it starts to head towards like the Anarchy Gook and Bidding. Same again, it was quite hazy going down towards that, but uh, the views again, it was just different with the haze and the colours. But aye, I, I tried to get some, some filming in the way there, so I'll just, I'm going to put it in the new, since I've not got any views at the tops here. So, aye, been fairly enjoyable. I say if I get something I'll get I'll put it on anyway. But I probably could wait here all day and get views but it's it's how long do you wait? So I'll sit here five minutes at this top and then I'll probably be heading back down. But it is getting warmer, I could feel the, the heat there getting up so it might be something. So I hopefully you're enjoying it so far. 
I say it's been one of these sort of claggy ones up here. I've not been doing very well with the, the mountains this year with the, with the clag. I think I'm going to get the name now, the clag man. <laughs> oh, aye. I'll wait here, get another five minutes, that's see what happens. So I'll check in a wee bit. Okay. Well, folks, that's me back at the bike where we dropped off this morning. Happy to see it's still here. <laughs> uh, miles away from anywhere in here, but I'll wait in it. Uh, it's just been myself, and I've actually just uh, bumped into Gabriella. I hope I said your name right. Uh, as you say, you, you follow her on YouTube as well, so that was very nice to meet you uh, and get some information about some of the other mountains that I've still today you've, you've actually done. So uh, it was quite a good wee, wee chat. So. I just it's only the two is it seem to have been on the mountain so I've just I've just bypassed there. So I'm my way back down. So I'm gonna be taking it easy. I felt my left knee starting to go there because that one up Gilvain, it's just basically straight up all the way. You don't really get much rest on it. Um and the same back down. So you're you're coming straight back down and your knees are taking the impact. But aye, it's been a pretty good day out, I say. Managed to get some views, it's pretty much cleared up a bit, but the tops are still in cloud so I don't know, even if I did wait a bit longer or that, if I would have got the views anyway, because I think a few of the core bits there, they're cloud free, but the, the Monroe's seem to still have the, the cloud to have them. So, I'm happy enough. Got back to the trig point at the, the first sort of summit, uh, opened up for five minutes, so I managed to get the drone up, Matt, and get some photos and that, so it's, it's made it worthwhile, um, I say. So, I'm going to gonna get on the bike and head back down. We're sitting at five past eleven, so that's actually quite good. I left the van at uh, half, just about half five this morning and that was me sitting up there for about an hour waiting at clearing and that so I actually done it good time so I gave myself an hour to get back out to the van if I'm back there for 12 o'clock that's quite good gives me a bit of time to take my time going back down the road so aye it's been good so what I might do is I might even just time with the end the video here because I say it's just bit of, pretty much the same road all the way back in uh, back to the van so I'll just do what I'll do, it's just do a wee end here and I'll put up some clips and that. I say you've, you've already seen the footage of me coming in, so I'm not pointing it in reverse option. So, aye, so, got to have a couple of weeks off now. Got a camping trip coming up, a wee week off. Um, got the campsite, so I'll probably do a wee video on the campsite or that, or I've run about the campsite. It's one of the ones that's hard to film and there's people about, so. Uh, so, I'm going to be trying to get something with the area, I'll just a wee bit of it. At least I can put something up for it. So, yep. So I'm going to get on my way and head back out and I'll catch you on the next one. Okay.